There was an interesting story I just heard about the Queen of England, uh, Queen Elizabeth. It's, it, this story was said over by her bodyguard, Robert Griffin. So Robert Griffin said that you know, Queen, Queen Elizabeth, she was a very active lady. And in the summertime, she loved hiking. And she would love to go hiking incognito. So whenever she went away from the palace, she always made sure to go inconspicuously, put on sunglasses, no one should notice her, <laughs> and do her hair so no one could recognize her. And they went to Scotland to go hiking. As they were hiking in Scotland, they bumped into these two travelers or these two uh, people that were hiking along with them. And these people turned to them and they ended up in a little bit of a conversation. And they said, oh, where are you from? So they turned to Queen Elizabeth and they asked her, where are you from? So Queen Elizabeth says, oh, I'm from England. So they say, oh, England, have you ever had the opportunity to meet the queen? She says, no, I, I have not. But my friend over here, referring to her bodyguard, Robert Griffin, he has met the, he has met the queen numerous amount of times, like countless times. Really? Wow, that's so impressive. Can you tell us a little bit about the queen? Now, he's talking about the queen next to the queen herself. Oh, she's a wonderful lady, and she's just so polite, and she's so kind, and she's funny, and she has a great sense of humor. And they're like, wow, unbelievable, tell us more. And he keeps going on and on, and then she's, they say to Robert Griffin, the bodyguard, can you do us a favor? Can you please, you know, is it okay with you if we could take a picture with you? You know, it would be so nice to have a picture with the person who got to meet the queen and knows the queen at such a personal level. He says, yeah, sure. What do they do? They take out their iPhones. They give it over to Queen Elizabeth (laughs) to take a picture (laughs) with a guy who got to visit or meet the queen a number of amount of times. So now Queen Elizabeth takes out the camera and she takes a picture with them. And they're like, wow, that's such an honor. We got a picture with the person who got to, you know, visit the queen. And then Robert Griffin goes ahead and he says, would you like to take a picture with my friend also? And they're like, um, well, okay, yeah, sure, you know, to be nice. And they take the, the camera and they give it to Robert Griffin. And then the bodyguard now takes a picture with uh, the queen, which they assume is just a regular person, and these two people. And then they go off on the merry way. So the queen turns to... You know, her bodyguard, and he says, she says, I wish I could be in that room when they're going to show these pictures to their friends, and they're going to say, look, we got a picture with a person who got to meet the queen, and then they're gonna, the friends are going to be like, you fool, you took a picture with the queen herself, you're, you got, you're so excited about this picture, you got a picture with the queen, you have a picture with the queen. And I think there's a lesson that could be learned from the story. And that lesson is that we're so focused on getting a picture or the attention of everybody around us except for the people that really matter. And that's our family. I think maybe that's the lesson we could take from the story. Unless you could tell me maybe there's many other lessons, but perhaps this is what struck me when I heard the story. That we're, don't be that person that's going to look back after 120 and we're going to think to ourselves, oh, I wish I would have spent more time with my family. I wish I would have uh, spent more time with my kids. In the end of the day, the pictures, what you want to be in the same picture as, It's not your boss shaking hands, looking good. It's not everybody else in the world. What really matters is the people that matter to you. Your children, your wife, your mother, your father, your siblings. Those are the people that really matter. And these are the people we neglect most of the time. The people that are closest to us. And that's the lesson maybe that we could take from the story.